everyone! Today we'll be talking about how to measure magnetic strengths with the Gauss meter. If you don't know what a Gauss is or if you need an introduction to magnetic strengths, check out part 1 of this 3 part video series. Okay, so let's measure some magnets with an actual Gauss meter. We have here an HT201 Gauss meter. It has two units of measurement available, the Gauss and the milli tesla. So one milli tesla is equivalent to 10 Gauss. Using any measurement would do. This model can measure up to 2,000 milli teslas. Anything beyond that, well, it's the limit. So I have here different types of magnets. We have neodymium magnets, ferrite magnets, and a very strong rubber magnet. Okay, first let's set up the Gauss meter. So this is a battery operated one. We connect the probe, this one's the probe, to the device. And turn it on. Okay. And we're all set. Okay. So we can start the tiniest magnet that we have. Three millimeter by one millimeter magnet. Okay. So we stick the probe to it like this. And as you can see, it usually fluctuates. You, you get you get an idea or you get a range. So it's around 2 to 3. I prefer using Gauss. There's no decimal. So usually, uh, using this Gauss meter, we have to add another zero. So this one's 80 Gauss. 180. 300. I'm just looking for the sweet spot in the curve. There. Somewhere here. Yeah, so it's, it's around... 350 max. Half inch by one fourth inch by one eighth. Compared to the three millimeter, it's like 10 times bigger. So let's measure that. It shoots up to 2000, 3000, yeah, it is 3000. It's about 3530 something 40 something so the size is 10 times bigger the gauss is 10 times bigger so i have here two magnets with the same diameter same length or thickness but the other one has a hole in it okay so let's try out this this first i adjusted the light so you can see uh, this is the south and this is the north. It's written here. Just looking for the sweet spot. 1,300. 400. Okay, so that's this one without a hole, 1,400. Let's take out the disc with the exact diameter and thickness. It seems like the highest that I can get is only 1,000. That's because it has a hole. This one is 1,400 and this one's 1,000 something. Next, we compare two different types of magnets. We have a 2 by one by one half ferret and a 2 by one by one half neodymium. Around 500. Next, we measure the new demium magnet, and it can go as high as 1,800. So we have a new demium magnet that can get up to 1,800, and a ferret magnet of the same size that can get up to 500. Last but not least, we have the rubber magnet, which we both know it's pretty weak, but this one is the stronger type of magnet. If you check out the first the the video about the different types of magnets we have two types of rubber magnets this one's the stronger type the anisotropic rubber magnet 
So, as a woo, you can see here, it reaches 100, which, which is pretty impressive for a rubber magnet. Okay, so that's it for now. If you need a Gauss meter, you can drop by here at Magnet Manila. To borrow our Gauss meter for free, we are located in Artigas area within Metro Manila. Now, if you don't want to use a Gauss meter, but you simply want to compare the different strengths of the magnets, check out the part 3 of this video series, the paperclip test. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Like, share, comment below for your thoughts about this. Click on the subscribe button to be the first to know when we release a new video about magnets.